I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about fostering shy cats and kittens. Basically when you bring home a kitten or a cat that does have some shyness issues or you feel that they're not, you know, as cuddly as they should, you know, you want them to be or they're not interacting as much with you and they're very scared, then I'm just going to give you some tips on how to help them out overcome these issues. So basically when you get home, the first thing that you want to do is that you want to establish a place in the home for the cat or the kitten. Um, in this case, a small room, a bathroom, a bedroom, something that they can feel comfortable in, but yet also some place where they're going to be safe where you can find them. Kittens especially are notorious for getting out, getting under things, behind refrigerators, under stoves, places that you wouldn't think that they could fit, but they do. So um, you want to establish a safe territory for them. Have food, the litter box, toys, blankets, that sort of thing. Um, you know where they are and this will give you a um, home spot for you to be able to work with them and also give them a safe place that they feel more comfortable and relaxed in instead of just free roaming your whole home and you probably never get a chance to see them. So basically, take them home, get them settled in and give them some breathing room. Let them relax for a little while. Don't try to force anything on them. Um, try to keep noises to a minimum. Uh, what you could do if you'd like is you could put a radio in the room with them. Play some soft classical music, something um, that will help them relax. Once you would like to go in there and visit with them, I would suggest going in and sitting down with them. Um, never try to force your attention upon um, the cat or kitten, uh, meaning don't pull them out from under beds, don't pull them out from under dressers if they're hiding, something like that. Do not force them to come out. What you want to do is let them feel comfortable enough to come to you. So take a book, go into the room, sit down, read, uh, work on your computer, watch some television, something that aims your focus someplace else but yet keeps you in the same area um, with the animal so that they can see that you are not a threat to them, that there's nothing to be scared of. Um, once they get used to your coming and going a little bit, start to offer them treats. Say hello to them even if they're under the bed. You can peek under the bed, leave them a little treat. Try to make every interaction a positive one. That is what you're trying to get across to them, that your interaction in their life is a good thing. Um, you can also start playing with toys with them. Now obviously you're going to think, well, my goodness, if I can't even touch them, why, how are they going to even play, you know, with the toys I bring out? Uh, you'd be surprised sometimes, especially with kittens, if you're sitting there on the floor and you have what I call a fishing pole toy. It's like a long rod with something hanging down and a toy and you're gently swishing it across the floor or something like that. Sometimes kittens just cannot resist, and even cats cannot resist to come out and try to get that toy. So that's something else you can do quietly. Just sit there, throw it at them. Don't throw it so that it hits them in any manner, but just throw that at them so they can see it and pull it back to you. Interactions like that that, you know, that seem fun. Also, um, any sort of positive reinforcement like treats. Um, even, a, you know, baby food. Make sure the baby food is chicken or turkey and also make sure that it's just chicken or turkey and water. We don't want any salt, we don't want any preservatives or anything like that. Um, you can get a tongue depressor, spoon, take it out and just sit in front of them and offer them a little bit and see if that won't draw them out a little bit. Um, Besides the tasty treats and the toys and things like that, it's going to take time. It's going to take time and patience. But after a while of them getting used to you coming and going, getting used to your voice, getting used to the household noises that are going on around them, they will come out. Don't take it personally if they're out and when you come in the room, they run and they hide again. Um, that's it's a good thing that they even came out and were looking around. Make sure that you have things in the room that offer them things to do when you're not there, um, like a cat tower or a bed by the window or some sort of toys and everything so that they can start to interact with the environment themselves even when you're not around. Um, and you, one thing you want to make sure you don't do is you don't want to make loud noises, you don't want to yell at them, you don't want to have children come into the room if you have children and 
have them screaming or running after them and trying to grab them in any way because that'll just you know drive them further back into their shyness and make them really scared and not want to come out when anybody's around if you have pets already in the home try to keep them away from your existing pets because it could traumatize them if your pet is mean to them in any way so but encourage interaction under doors um, this way if a paw is sticking out under a door and your cat starts to play with them or something like that um, it starts the general socialization in the home with the pet um, but in a safe way and that's another issue too you always want to remain safe because in their fearfulness they can lash out in protection it's not because they're mean in any way it's because they're scared and um, they also see that if they do this to you and you back off that they know that this will make you go away so if that does happen to you don't immediately turn around and leave the room just speak it quietly and in a nice voice saying it's okay it's okay but back up and let them have their space but leave some sort of positivity behind you when you leave whether it be a toy or treat or something like that and patience and love and patience and love and um, after a while they usually do come around so if you think that this is a good thing for you and you want to give it a try come on down to the SBCA and, and take a, a cat or a kitten home and help them find a new home by fostering them.